Praise the Lord. Welcome to Clutter God's Kids and Youth. Hallelujah. Thank you for joining in with me. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Praise his holy name. Today we are going to be talking about praying for our friends. Hallelujah. Bless his holy name. But before we get into what the Lord has for us today, we're going to take a minute or two to just honor God. Praise his holy name. Dear Jesus, we just thank you for a time like this that we're gathered unto you, Lord. Thank you for my precious friend that's sitting uh, right across, Lord. Thank you for ordering their steps. Lord, I thank you, Lord, for um, just for their lives. Lord, I pray that you bless them even through this word, oh God. Bless them, strengthen them, perfect them. Draw them closer to you, oh God. Teach them more of your ways, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we don't want to leave this place the same. I pray that your, word, your very words come through me, oh God. Very, your words come through me, O oh God. Let it glorify you, Lord. Let it impact this life, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Father God, I pray that you just have your way today. Have your way in our lives. Have your way in our families. We surrender everything to you. We keep our eyes on you. We love you so much, Jesus. Have your way completely. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So yes, we are going to be talking about praying for our friends. Hallelujah. We have a scripture here in 1 Timothy 2, 1. It says, I urge you, first of all, pray for all people. Hallelujah. Ask God to help them intercede on their behalf and give thanks for them. So it's the, the Bible mandates us, meaning that God wants us to pray for our friends. Okay, so that's what I want to encourage us to begin to do. You might have friends in your life that... Um, you might sense something's going on with them or you just know in your heart that it would be nice if they knew Jesus Christ, right? Or you just know that they're going through struggles, challenges, right? Or maybe you know that there are problems with their families, they have problems with school or they, they, are pro they have problems with their health or their family, their family members have, member or members have health issues or something going on. Or sometimes you just watch that kid and you just think something doesn't seem so right. Right, our duty for such a person or such um, people is to pray for them. That's what the word of God says to us. He says, I urge you, I encourage you, first of all, to pray for all people. Okay, so let's 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 um our families are one of uh, families definitely want to pray for, but today we want to talk about praying for our friends. So we definitely want to pray for our friends um in, in school environments, you know, that we connect with. We also want to pray for our teachers. He says, pray for all um all people. Okay, so let's, I know it's very easy to go on with life and go on with our classes and go on with school and it might not cross our minds, but I want to begin to challenge us, okay? Let us be sensitive to the people around us. That's one way we can demonstrate that we, we love them. We love them, we care for them. You might not be able to really um, connect with somebody one-on-one -on -one or um, you might not be in a position where you can physically help them with their problems, but I'm telling you, prayers will go a long way. There's a scripture that says, the prayer of a righteous person brings about tremend tremendous changes. Your prayers can bring about tremendous changes. And that's why you need to be that righteous person. You need to be that one who loves God. When you, when you love God and you're connected with God, when you pray, it releases a lot of power. I'm telling you, it will change things. I have a couple of people and situations that I've prayed for that I've just seen the answers, bum, bum, bum. Right? So I'm thinking, wow, my little prayer made a difference. Yes. Yes, I recently um, had a, a situation in um, in some part of Africa where like 300 students were uh, kidnapped, right? They were kidnapped, young, young, young students were kidnapped. And um, I, it didn't, it looked like, you know, that's what it is. It is what it is, you know, but I just, when I heard the news, I thought, I'm going to pray for those girls. I'm going to pray for those girls to be safe, for them to be returned to their parents and it, it within a space of two three days, there were um, the news from the news I got that they had been found. They had, they, they had been found and they were being reconnected with their parents. So I'm telling you, prayers um, are a big deal and they carry power. I remember that day thinking, uh, I mean, the enemy will want to tell you it doesn't matter. I mean, it wouldn't make any difference. It is what it is. Or whatever else he might want to tell us, right? Or who cares? Or why should you pray? It's just news. No, but these people are people like us. 
that's how I look at it. Many times when I see something on the news, I'm going to pray about it because these are people like me. They have feelings like me. They're hurting like me. They're um, the parents of those kids are parents like me. So does that make sense? So we, and I'm saying this to you now as a student, those kids, you might, you might go past a kid and you, you can sense they're troubled or something's going on. Don't say whatever, right? They're just a kid like you. You wouldn't want those situations in your life if the kid is going through anything. So you know, let that move your heart. Praise the name of the Lord. Just say, you know what? This is a kid like me and I love them. They might not necessarily know that I love them and I even know that I'm praying for them, but I love them enough with the love of Jesus Christ to pray for them because I, I believe in prayer and I want to see their lives changed. I want to see their lives transformed. I want them to get that breakthrough. And really the most important prayer we're going to pray for anybody is for them to know Jesus Christ. That is the biggest thing. You know, all the things in life that we want, you know, all the problems we want solved in our lives, those things are going to come and pass. But I'm telling you, the only thing that will stand the test of time is people's relationship with God. Hallelujah. So it's good. You know, someone wants a car, you pray for them. Someone wants money. Someone wants healing. That's beautiful, right? But I'm telling you, the most important thing, the most valuable thing to pray for anybody for is their relationship with the Lord. So let us um, form a, ha a habit. I want it to be a habit for us where we're constantly praying for our friends, praying for our classmates, right? Um, praying for them, praying for things to go well for them. And like I said, most importantly, pray for them to know Jesus Christ. Pray for their eyes to be open to the truth of the word of God, the knowledge of God. Pray for their families to come to know Jesus Christ, right? Pray that they will live in godliness, right? They will not live in sin. They will not live in compromise, Right, So we're praying for the external blessings like health and stuff that they may need and pro family problems to be solved. But we're praying very importantly for their souls. Okay, Because when, when people grow old and die or when Jesus comes in the cloud, that's the one thing that will matter the most. Okay, That's the one thing. People cannot, would not take anything with them. The only thing they have to answer to God for is their souls. Did they honor God? Did they believe in Jesus? Did they call on the name of the Lord? Did they walk in holiness with God, right? Was Jesus their Lord and personal Savior? So that's very, very important. And another thing it says, so it does say here, yes, intercede for them. And it says, give thanks for them, right? And you say, Lord, I thank you that this friend is healthy. I thank you that this friend, you know, whatever you know, that as much as you know about that friend, you thank God for them. If you don't know much, just say, I thank you, Lord, for their lives. I thank you that you're perfecting things for their lives, in, in their lives. Praise and I thank you that they have a family. Thank you that they're doing well in school, you know. So the Bible says, give thanks for them. Give thanks uh, to the Lord for them. Praise the name of the Lord. So we're going to just go right into what we're talking about today. We're just going to take a minute to just pray for the friends that we have, pray for the people in our lives. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So if you're ready, let's go ahead. Dear Jesus, I want to thank you so much. We want to thank you for your goodness, your love, your kindness, your faithfulness, your favor, your love, your mercy, your grace, your compassion. Thank you for this word that we've just heard, oh God, about this being your heartbeat. We're, we're doing this because we know this is your heartbeat and we know why you say we should do, we should do this. We know that you love these people so much, just as, you, as much as you love us. And so, Father, we're just bringing them before your throne of grace. We're bringing our classmates before your throne of grace. We're bringing our friends in the neighborhood, our personal friends, we're bringing them before your uh, throne of grace. Lord, you know the details of their lives. You know what their struggles are. Father, I just pray that you inter we pray for your you to for your you to intercede for we pray that for a turnaround in their situation. We pray for a turnaround. If anyone is struggling, if, if it's their family, the, the parents are struggling, their relationship, I pray for your blessing. I pray for your grace. If anyone's they are struggling, their health or their family members are, have health challenges, we pray for your mercy. We pray that you touch that family member and we speak healing unto their bodies in Jesus' name. If they are struggling in their mind, in their joy, in their peace, if they are filled with worry, anxiety, Father, we rebuke that spirit of fear, of worry, anxiety. Your word says you haven't given us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. Mind, Lord, if they are struggling, their resources, they need their parents need finances, or they need resources. They are, they are, they are missing. They, they have needs, physical needs. Lord, I we pray for you to remember them, make a way, oh God, bless their parents with the right kinds of jobs in Jesus' name. 
Father, most importantly, we just want to bring our friends before your throne of grace. Lord, you know where they are in their hearts. You know if they know you or not. Lord, I pray that you reveal yourself to them. The ones that do not know you, reveal yourself to them in the name of Jesus. Open their hearts to reveal your truth. Um, to, un to open their hearts and reveal your truth, oh God into their hearts, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Turn their hearts over to you. Lord, I pray that you begin to reveal yourself in dreams, O oh God, through dreams, through visions, through their everyday lives, O oh God. Reveal yourself to them in the name of Jesus. But even as they go on the web, they, they, they search, they, they, they surf the web, Lord, I pray that they will stumble into material that will be a blessing to them. Father, I pray that you keep them from evil, keep them from harm. Keep them from anything that will be destructive to them, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray that you bless our friends. Bless, bless our friends. Protect them. Shield them. Protect them even through this pandemic. Protect them, oh God. Give them soundness of mind. Protect their bodies. Protect their minds. Protect their families, oh God. Keep them strong, oh God. Cause them to grow in you, in the fear of you, oh God, in the knowledge of your truth. Lord, lead their hearts to the right church, oh God, where they will fellowship and they will grow in you, oh God. Lead their hearts to study your word, oh God, in the name of Jesus and to spend time with you, oh God, fellowshipping and praising you and praying to you in the name of Jesus. Bring the right friends their path, oh God, and remove from them things that will mislead them. In Jesus' name, Lord, we thank you that you hear us. Thank you for your grace upon our lives. I thank you, Lord, even also for my, my precious friend that is listening and standing in the gap right now for their friend or their classmates, oh God. I pray that you bless them, strengthen them, grow them also in the knowledge of your truth, oh God. Grow them in you, establish them in your truth, protect them, bless their families, bless their lives. Lord, if they are missing anything, oh God, meet those needs, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, even at this time where there's so much deception, Lord, I pray that they'll be grounded in your truth. They'll, they will not go to the left or to the right. They will not be misled by the devil, but they will stand firm in you, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Father, I come against every weakness, any, any addiction, any, any habits, anything in their lives that is contrary to your will. I come against sickness in their life. Anything that is not of you, I command it right now to go away. Get out of their lives in Jesus' name. I release your power over their lives, oh God. Your power, your power, part your spirit upon them right now, Lord. Even as we pray in your precious holy name, we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And one other thing I just wanted to mention. Yes, make sure to call your friend. If you know their names, if you don't know, just say, Lord, bless the ones in my class or bless you know, if, if whatever uh, way you're connected, if you're, if you're on the same soccer team or any kind of basketball team, whatever, just say, Lord, bless all my um, friends on this team or, you know, whatever group you're in, right? But if you know their name, call out their name before the Lord. It is well with us. God is so faithful. God loves all of us. I'm telling you, he loves you. He loves them. We're all precious to him. And what God really, really wants us to come close to him and have an established relationship with him. He wants us to have a passionate relationship with him. That's what really matters the most in this life. Well, God bless you. I want to thank you for joining in with me on Claudia God Kids and Youth. God bless you. I'll continue to pray for you. I love you. I love you. You are so, so special to God. God bless you. Bye-bye.